back to my channel my name is linda in case if you're new here thanks for stopping by and please do also join the family by clicking the subscribe bell below and also hitting the post notification bell just right beside it just so you're notified when i upload a new video on my channel so guys in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this makeup look which i have on and if you like to see how i created this makeup look using makeup products which are actually like loves using like i literally use like every day all through 2018 so if you want to see how i got about creating this makeup look then please do want to keep on watching this video and please um subscribe to my channel like i really need to subscribe and like i'm begging you right now there's nothing you would, if there's anything you would do for me right now it's actually like to actually like subscribe to my channel like i actually uh i just want to grow my youtube channel like i really i, I need like if it's if it's too much to ask like i need like 100k subscribers this year like please just do it for me like tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that you should subscribe to my channel so without further ado let's just get into like the tutorial yeah let's get into how i achieve this makeup look which i have on and deal with all the products which i have been loving so let's get into it guys so for primer i've actually been loving the Renew london stay matte primer and i've used this like literally almost every day of this year except for, except for on days where I felt like I wanted like um, that very like you know very um, matte makeup look. Then I switched to using um, the makeup magnesia. But this is basically the primer I've used like literally all year. And then for foundation, I started the year with using the Ferrari Richie foundation. But I ended up switching over to um, back to my old Revlon Color Stay foundation. So, and then what I've been loving for using to apply my foundation is actually like the glue foundation brush. Like I had to dump the beauty blender sponge. I just found it very unmanageable, like on a daily. So I just drop the foundation like on random spots on my face. Then I start to use the foundation brush right here to just like you know tap the foundation into my skin like so. You can see like what i just achieved done with this foundation is a very very light coverage if i want something um, if i want this to be more cakey i can actually build it up by applying more of the foundation but i already see i really love like working a natural makeup look i kind of like went very like natural this year but then um, let's see what this whole look turns out but then for concealer i've been loving the elegant pro conceal at some point this year i used them a color um color pop um, concealer I would have ordered more of it, but the problem I had with ordering from Colourpop was that um, the last time I shopped from them, I was I had to pay like very very high custom rates. So ever since then, I just kind of like you know put it off, put um, ordering from Colourpop on hold. Though I really really love their products, but for concealing, I'm using the Edgar Pro Concealer in Fawn. I'm going to be mixing Fawn and um, Cool Tan together to have a more like you know a natural con um, highlighted highlighted look rather. So for the bottom part, I'll put Fawn. Another thing I actually like started to do this year was that I would leave my concealer on my face to kind of like dry a bit before I like go in with a beauty blender in order to blend the concealer. I'm just gonna allow this concealer to sit in for like five minutes and then I'll blend it in. So guys, I'm using a damp beauty blender sponge. I'm gonna start to blend my concealer into my skin like so. You wanna look up when it comes to your eye area. You want to look up and make sure like you know you just tap the concealer in. I also like to just like you know just tap whatever concealer I have left on the beauty blender on my eyelid area just to ensure that I have an even skin tone there. So the corners of everything. So guys, next up, after you've applied your foundation and then you also highlighted your skin, the next thing you want to do is actually like set the, the products on your face in. Like you don't want your makeup melting on you. You don't want your makeup like you know starting to shift at all so to avoid those creasing particularly in your under eye area at all you have to set your foundation with your setting powder and the setting powder which i've been loving lately is the color pop no filter setting powder and um, i use it in the shade banana and then i've been using this small dry beauty blender just to press the powder to the parts of my face which i highlighted obviously I'm just tapping it in, looking up also and doing that just to ensure that I don't have any creasing. For places like my smile line, I tend to experience a lot of creasing there, so I just like to apply some more powder there. Just to ensure that my makeup doesn't crease. The next, another palette which I've actually been loving is the 
LA Pride contour in palette. Like I absolutely love this palette so much. Like it has like everything I want like in one palette. Like, I've been loving using this brush actually to actually like um, contour my face. And I tend to like to use this darker shade here and I mix it with this one here. I mix these two shades here and I use both shades in like you know contouring my face. So what I do is I set my cheek in like you know the traditional way and I I also like to like, you know, extend it a bit towards like my mouth area and then towards my hairline like so but then very lightly and take it up a bit that's what I've been doing this year and towards like my chin area and then I also like to actually define my chin area by doing this single move right here Then for my nose, I like to use this shade right here and with this slanted um, blending brush, I just um, apply the powder from my brow, like from the beginning of my brow right here and I take it down to like the sides of my nose just so I can like, give my nose some definition, make it look more pointed if you get what I mean, which I know you absolutely do. So just look at what I'm doing from my brows, taking it down sides of my nose down to the tip of my nose you can see the difference my nose here has more definition on like this and just looks oh while my makeup actually like sits and big i like to then do my brows and the reason why i actually do my brows while like i've actually like you know put some powder on my brow area is that i notice that it helps my brow to stay in place all day like all day so I don't actually have to be using all those eyebrow pomades and the rest of it by just doing it like this and I actually like the turn out of how my brow looks when I actually like use this metal and I start to use the I've been loving using this David number 3 eyebrow pencil and um, uh, this has been like the good eyebrow pencil I've been using for years and I still keep on using it though sometimes I actually like to use like the colorful brow, um, brow cream and um, it's mainly when I'm actually like doing like my client's makeup with that when I actually like use that just to ensure that I make their brows stay in place all day. So guys next I'll go over to defining my brows and of course I still stick to using the early girl pro concealer but the only thing different I've been doing is that I, I've actually been using like my foundation towards like the beginning part and the ends of my brows just to ensure that it looks like you know more natural towards that area it doesn't look like you know oh you highlighted your that like, doesn't look overly highlighted if you get what i mean by that so i go in with my foundation first, first at the beginning part just like so and at the ending part like so too I like to go back with that same puff and I just like you know try to set that product which I use in like you know defining my brows in just to avoid you know a good old creasing. So it's after I've done my brows now that I go over now to start to you know create a fantabulous, beautiful, iconic eye makeup look. So are you ready for that? Yeah, not as much. Let's get into it. So guys now for the eyes, I already did this eye off camera, I'm just going to quickly go in now to start working on the eye makeup look. It's glittery, it's festive, it's you know, it's just, it's a bright, it's a new year, like it's a, it's a new year makeup look, it's just in, inspire freshness, creativity, you know, amazing stuff to come. So guys, let's just get into the look. So I'm just going to start by using my good old um, eyeshadow palette. If you have any eyeshadow palette that has like um, this kind of yellow color, you could work with that. You don't have to use the same palette that I use. I'm not going to even mention the more palette which I'm using. But then for those that care about it, it's the Beauty Treats 130 Professional Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this eyeshadow palette for years and I still, and I still use it. I'm not going to be blending this color right here, this yellow color, all around my crease area using this fluffy blending brush. 
but this year i really like to get the morphe eyeshadow palette i heard the colors on it is actually like more pigmented unlike this one like when the colors actually come out like i have to actually like keep on going back to like you know apply and reapply and whatever but i'll probably give this one out to someone who's still trying to learn how to apply makeup little shade right there then next i'm gonna go in with a different blending brush and i'm gonna be using this one right here i'm gonna be blending this brown shade which i have here all around my like just like yeah, above my eyelids but still like in my crease area but underneath where like i apply that yellow shade like that's the transition color this is also like an, another transition color really go back to that yellow blending brush and um, the yellow color and just blend it all around my crease here just to ensure that everything is well blended and looks seamless so just going back just to blend everything back in again then next up i'm going over to a different palette and i'm using the sleek eyeshadow palette and you can use any palette that has a black eyeshadow that is really, really pigmented that you have you don't have to use the same one but i like to use this one since it's really black eyeshadow eyeshadow I'm going in with this pointed blending brush and I'm taking the black eyeshadow there and I'm going to apply it directly in my outer V area, like this area right here. Just trying to blend the colors gently. I'm going to go over to back to that same brown color which I used in my transition color, my, as my transition color just to blend <laughs> that black shade in well just so that there are no harsh lines and everything just looks like you know smooth and the colors just like you know diffuse really well into each other makeup is art like everything has to be well blended else it will just not look right it's just gonna look like oh you apply this one here you stopped here you went back up you went back applied another one there then i'm going back to that same yellow shade just like you know pop back that transition color in just so that it doesn't seem like it's was lost i'm gonna be reaching for like a shade which i really really love as a transition color just to like you know add a little bit of a pop of color and i'm gonna be using this shade right here it's kind of like an orangey red tone color I'm just gonna be blending it slightly on the part where like in between like the brown the blacks and the yellow just to you know pick the crease area up a bit can see i'm carrying this spot out what color are you because of all of the blending that has happened right there i'm just gonna go back to that same black shade just to like you know darken that um outer v area a bit more just get it darker a bit i'm going to be starting out by using an eyeshadow primer and then the one which i've been loving is actually like the classic eyeshadow primer and it's really affordable like all about using affordable yet quality makeup products so i like using this classic eyeshadow primer i'm just gonna quickly apply that all around my eyelid area i kind of like create like a, a like a an amateur copies makeup look that's a mistake right here but my camera don't really look to fix it So guys, I'm just gonna go back with the buffy, a small pointed brush, just like you know, correct that mistake there. And I'm just dipping it into that brown sheet, the transition color, just to ensure that I correct that. So next, I'm gonna go over to now setting this um, eyeshadow primer which I've applied on my eyelid area, and I'm gonna be using an eyeshadow to do that. I'm using um, a shadow from the eyesh um, color pop i think i love the eyeshadow palette and i think the color which i'll be using is named roadie which is this shade right here i'm just going to be tapping it on my brush and applying it all around my eyelid space where i apply that eyeshadow primer so you can see what i'm doing i'm just tapping it in just actually like set that primer just gonna go on in with my classic um, glitter glue is also another very affordable makeup product i think you can get it for about 1500 thousand naira and then you have a glitter glue to work with and then um, i'm just applying it all around my eyelids gently and then for this glitter look what i actually did was i mixed 
several colors of i think i mixed around like um nine to ten colors of glitters from red to green to blue black or red like everything i mix everything up together to actually like achieve this glitter look and then i'm using this same brush which i use for like my eyeshadow to dab the glitters onto my eyelids very carefully i'm gonna be applying this um what do i call it it's like um, a liquid glitter a liquid, I don't know what call it, but then it's just um gold glitter in a bottle. I'm just gonna be using it to kind of like define my crease area. With this, I'm just gonna quickly go on now and um, you know apply um my eyeliner. Okay, when it comes to makeup, a lot of things that we struggle with. For most people, we naturally eyeliner, and for me, I really have to focus on and be my eyeliner in order to you know make mistakes and all. So. It is what it is. Then for my bottom lash line, I like to use this uh, Mapuke Extremely Soft Eyeliner Pencil. What I really love about this eyeliner is the fact that it's just so, so black. Like right? the, the, the pigmentation is just insane. So I'm also going to extend this spy line out to like my bottom lash line area. I'm gonna go over to um uh, I'm gonna go over and reach for this small shader brush right here. And I'm just gonna dip it into that same black eyeshadow which I used for my outer V area and I'm gonna be using it to set that um the eyeliner which I used on my bottom lash line. The next step is to actually like you know apply our pulses. So I'm using this one is actually a very affordable lash. It's actually going on AliExpress. Lash line like so. I'm gonna drop it there and like leave it to get really dry. Next up, I'm gonna be going over to you know applying some powder to my face and you know blending all the powder, the setting powder which I still have left on my face and I'm making it a bit too cakey. So going back to the early pride contouring palette. I'll just first start to dust off the remnants of that um, setting powder which I used. So I'm gonna go back to this powder right here, just like you know, just really blend out my under eye area with it. So this powder right here is serving as my face powder. Then for the other part of my face, I'm gonna be using this powder right here, mixing it with this one right here, just to set the other part of my face. And I'm just gonna quickly go back to um, the contour shade, which is this the darker shade in my palette, just to you know really define my cheeks a bit more. I'm getting looking really really snatched. Yeah, I know it might look a bit too strong. I'm gonna go in with this powder right here, these two, just to you know also extend that um contour a bit upwards towards like the highlighted area. But I'm just gonna add um, apply a tad bit of um of um uh, wash and the blush which I'll be using is this one right here, just a little goes along with a little on the brush and just tap it slightly here, just very little. I'm done with the, with the blush. Next, I'll be highlighting my face and I'll be using the Sheila X Colourpop Highlighter in Booming. It's actually like a loose powder highlighter. So, I'll just tip on a little of the highlighter on my fan brush and you see, just this. Oh my god, this is too much. <laughs> you need to actually use a little bit. I'm going to blend it in like so. See now my face is really really booming like it's booming so using the smaller brush i'm going to be applying that same highlighter to like my brow bone area here so bottom lash line and also to like my cuticle area
I mean, the video of my nose, right here. I'm blending on my fingertips. So guys, for my lips, I really have been loving a natural, like, you know, lip look. So what I'll be using for my lips is, what I'll be using for my lips is actually the Colourpop Lip Key Pencil in, um, I think this is BFF3. Yeah, I'll be using a BFF3 lip pencil. Guys, after I'm done with the lippy, I go over the lippy with this ultra blotted lip, um, lip, ultra blotted lip in um, Zuma. So guys, to finish up this look, I'm just going to quickly go over to my setting spray and I've been loving the color of Amber Crystal makeup setting spray and that's what I'll be using to set my entire makeup look. So I'm just going to quickly cover up my eyes and set the, my face. Uh -huh. It goes a long way, so just a little of it and um, we are good to go. So darling, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please do want to give it a huge thumbs up. And also, please, 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 please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, share this video with your friends, you know, your loved ones. And um, let's just try and make this new year a really beautiful, positive, you know, really inspiring and um, prosperous year for each and every one of us. And, um, and for this new year, I hope to really, like, you know, share a lot of my ideas, like my knowledge in terms of when it comes to makeup and hair and yeah this wig which i have on right here it was actually like custom made by me if you like me to actually like film me to throw on how i how i made this wig please let me know in the comments comment section and if you also want to order wigs from me i'm going to put my phone number in the um, um in the description box so you can actually like call out me to like you know get your wig custom made by me and um yeah and also please follow me on Insta Instagram and um, Facebook and you know all the other social media platforms I'm, I'm definitely not on Twitter like I, I really don't know why but I don't really understand how the old Twitter thing works but please follow me on Instagram I'm, I'm at Linda in the middle loop on Instagram and then my business page is actually ENL Beauty also on Instagram and also on Facebook too Linda is in middle on Facebook and ENL Beauty on Facebook so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, thank you so much. And please let's make 2019 a very beautiful, positive, inspiring, enriching, blessed year for ourselves and our loved ones. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. I love you so much. Thank you for always supporting me. Bye-bye. <laughs>